Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to use the detailed summarize function within Stata. In order to do so, let's preload one of our favorite data sets, Census 13, pre-built in Stata. So you just type in web use census 13 to load this data set. And let's say that today we want some pretty comprehensive descriptive statistics on two variables that are within this data set, birth rate, B rate, and population pop. And let's say we just want to look at them displayed by state. So I'm just pulling up these data to show you what they look like. And note that if you enter edit and just inspect that data set visually, you'll see that state, B rate, and pop are all variables within that data set. So what we want to do here is get some more detailed statistics, descriptive statistics on these two variables. So let's say B rate and pop are what we want. So we will enter summarize, then we will just list however many variables um, we're interested in here. If we wanted a third or fourth one, we would just keep typing them in without a comma. When we're done, we put in the comma, we type in detail, press enter. And so you see now you have a pretty decent set of descriptive statistics here on these two variables. We have percentiles, we have the range, the number of observations, the mean, the standard deviation, variance, skewness, and kurtosis. So those are all great things to have. And summarize detail gives them to you in a way that the ordinary summarize command does not if you recall from the tutorial on basic summarize. I want to point out to you that using some other aspects of Stata code, we can narrow down these descriptive statistics. Like here, for example, I know already that region is a grouping variable within this data set. There are four regions in the census data. And what I'm doing here by typing in this code that I'm highlighting, I am asking for more detailed statistics, and let me just add detail here at the end on these variables. So here's what I've pulled up. Let me click through here first, and then I'll show you what I did. So what we did here with the use of the by region sort prefix over here to the detailed summary statistics on birth rate and population, we broke it out. So now we have all of that information we had before, except we have it for region, for northeast, uh, north central, uh, south and west over here. So that's a great example of how with status code, you know, you can you can take these descriptive statistics and you can kind of really narrow them down to any subset of the data through the use of a sorting variable and other functions of that kind that exist in Stata. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great day.